I might never build a project without using ChatGPT again. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but I did just try ChatGPT for the very first time and I'm absolutely blown away. It's actually a little scary, but I figured it would be a cool demo to show you how to build your own resume website using ChatGPT with HTML and CSS. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll even show you how to deploy that live so that everyone across the world can view your new cool resume website. And this is where our sponsor, Hostinger, comes in. Now, Hostinger is an amazing hosting platform for a bunch of different reasons. And you can see a list of all of the features here. But one thing that stands out is with your plan, you can host 100 different websites, which means you can have multiple portfolio projects, resume projects, you can take on freelance clients, etc which means you can go a really long way with this plan. Now in the description below, you'll have an exclusive link with a discount code of James that'll get you an extra percentage off of this plan. So you can go and host all the different websites that you can think of. We'll come back to this at the end of the video, but for now let's move into ChatGPT. All right, so you can find ChatGPT at chat.openai.com. Unfortunately, you'll probably find that it's overloaded or at capacity a lot. So you can just continue to refresh like I did until it comes through and looks okay. Uh, then you can go ahead and log in uh, with your account. I'm logging in with my Gmail account and then I'm right in and I'm ready to start uh, asking ChatGPT to start generating stuff for me. Now, I think the most difficult thing with this is figuring out how to ask for what you want. And so the first couple of times, I tried this with a resume. I didn't clarify that it should populate uh, example data for me. I also didn't clarify that it should already go ahead and add styling in CSS. So if you look in here, you'll actually see that I clarify both of those things. I say, can you generate code for HTML and CSS, including the styling with CSS? And then I also clarify to make sure to have example data for each section that I create. After you press enter, it's kind of cool to see ChatGPT think and the way it processes this information. So you can see it's responding to me to say, sure, this is how I would do this. And then you see it going piece by piece, actually generating this code live for you. So it starts with the base structure of an HTML document. It gets into styling and it adds all the different sections with appropriate classes that I asked it for, which is absolutely mind blowing. The fact that it can do that. Not only does it do that, then it goes in and fills in the basic information for these different sections like the header, like the work experience, et cetera, all with relevant information and technical terms like designing and maintaining APIs. The fact that it can do all this stuff is absolutely mind blowing. Now it looks like ChatGPT kind of finished right in the middle, so we'll come and clean this up later. But we'll go ahead and copy this code and then I've got a project open in VS Code and I'm gonna run this create web boilerplate which just generates an index HTML, app.js and app CSS. And then we'll just paste this code into the HTML file. Now I wanna clean this up a little bit. So I want to take the CSS and put it in its own separate CSS file, which it didn't do for us directly. We could actually ask ChatGPT to do that, but in this case, we'll just take this and copy it into the CSS file. That way it'll look a little cleaner in the final code and you're not mixing your markup and your CSS. And then I've got this thing ready to go. I can click the go live button using the live server extension. And now I can view this resume already created inside of my browser. Now, as I mentioned, it's almost like ChatGPT died in the middle, so it forgot to do my skill section. So I'm gonna ask it to generate the skill section here on the fly. So this would give me probably what it would have given me originally had it finished, but now this gives me a skill section that I can just copy and paste again into my code and have that thing right there. Also, I had to clean up a little bit of the education where it kind of just bottomed out in the middle of that. So we'll paste in this new skill section, and now we can go and see that those skills are live. And then I was thinking it would be better if we list these skills horizontally so that they're, they don't take up as much room vertically. So I asked ChatGPT to give me that. I was expecting it to do something fancy with spans or Flexbox or something, but it actually did the most basic thing, which makes total sense, which is just to list the skills in there separated by commas. And that looks pretty good. So from there, I wanted to separate the header using a different color for the header from the rest of the content. And I asked ChatGPT for a light gray it actually just gave me the built-in light gray in CSS, which is totally fine. So it generated this new header section. I uh, copied that whole header section and pasted the entire thing in. But again, I wanted to separate my CSS. So I stripped that out of the HTML and then went over to the CSS file and copied this in to target that specific style and at least get that bit of separation there between color. Now this doesn't look that great, even though it does have a difference in color. So I wanted to add a secondary gray that was even lighter for the rest of the main content. So it generated the light gray of F2, 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 which is fine. So I threw that in 
And you can start to see the difference, but it's not perfect. We'll come back to this in a second. One of the things I did want to do though was update the email link or the email address to be clickable to actually trigger email. I never remember how to do this right offhand. It's using the mail to prefix with an anchor tag and href. So I had ChatGPT generate this for me, throw it into the code, and then have that display where they can click on the link directly and then be able to email me. Now I mentioned that the header wasn't perfect. I actually wanted to find a way to style this a bit differently so that the header took up the entire width of the container. So I removed the padding on the container and then created a P-20 class that I could apply in two different places to add padding exactly where I wanted it. So I wanted it on the header and then I wrapped the entire main piece of content with a main tag and applied that class as well. So each one would have the appropriate padding. And I decided I wanted to kind of round the borders on this to make it look a little more modern and not so rigid and square. So I added a border radius on the container and realized that I needed to also add a border radius to the header as well. So I added a border radius of 20 pixels on the header, went back and matched that on the container. And then now I get this kind of rounded card idea with the resume that I think looks pretty good. Now, the last thing for me to do is actually fill in all of my information. So here's a quick run through of me just adding in all of my actual information to make this website resume complete. And for about 10 minutes of work and ChatGPT doing almost all the actual work for me, I think this looks pretty good. You could obviously go and customize this even more, make it even better looking, but it's a great start. So now our next step is to actually host this in a place where you can refer people to this so everyone across the world can actually see your resume. So one of the amazing things with plans with Hostinger is that you get a free domain, which you can see me set up here. So I'm going to set up the JQQ dash h demos domain there's a typo but that's okay and i'm doing that at dot com so after you go through and click this it'll say zero dollars per year so you get to go ahead and sign up for that domain for free that way you can send that link to anybody to actually see your resume now after you get that domain fully verified you'll see that in the verification status in the dashboard and now you can go over to your plan and start to set that up and connect it to your domain name so click start now we will create an empty website because we're going to upload the files ourselves then you can choose your domain name and finish the setup and it will go ahead and have all of that hosting set up for you. And our next step is to actually walk through and just upload the files that we just created with ChatGPT. From there, we'll go into the control panel and open up the file manager. This is where we're able to upload our files directly to our site. And then you'll wanna open the public HTML directory and delete the default PHP. We'll replace this with our HTML and CSS files. In this case, I'm dragging in a JavaScript file, but we don't actually need that. And once those files are uploaded, our domain is ready to go and your resume is there for you to see and for you to share with the entire world. So we just created and hosted a resume website in about 10 minutes. I'm curious what you think. Do you see any fun use cases for ChatGPT? Make sure to share that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.